Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Develop Code Hunt. This time we're going to continue on Sector 11, Task 3. With this task we get in an array of integer arrays and we're supposed to return a boolean. So let's see. For an array containing the, containing the array of only zero, we are expected to return true. For two arrays containing two zeros each, we're supposed to return true two, and for two arrays with some random other values, we're supposed to return false. So, I have no idea, but my first guess would be if the numbers in the inner arrays are non-zero, then I'm supposed to return false. So I'm going to say return input zero zero uh, equals zero. This will hopefully generate me a new test case where I'm supposed to return true and don't which I got, but this is actually not helping very much. Um, how about array comparison in Java, by the way? Can I do something like input equals new int array of um, I do something like this in Java. I'm actually not sure right now. Return true. Can I do this or does this give me a compile error? Apparently this gives me a compile error. Error initializes the error initializes can only be uh, okay. So I have to add an explicit int array thing here, right? Or is this not possible at all? Yes, it should be. Yeah, okay. It should be possible I'm returning true for this one, but actually I wanted to return true for this one to check if the equals on this expression actually works. And I'm not sure, yeah. It says it feared it does not work. Um, okay, so how to write some test cases for this? Mm, if I remember correctly, there is import java util arrays. If I remember correctly, there's an arrays dot equal equal probably equal not equals that allows me to compare to arrays content wise method equal not found so maybe it's equals method equals cannot be applied to the given type that's not nice okay apparently i cannot do it like this That is not nice. How else to write these kind of test cases? Do you have an idea how I can elegantly write this kind of tests? I really like to do that because it helped me a lot to generate test cases here. But apparently I cannot do this So how to proceed here? How to proceed here? Let's let me see if we can do something else. Let me go back to the test cases we had. So I really want to see how the test cases look like. So for all zeros we return true, for only one we return true. 
And for this one, we're supposed to return false. I'm not yet seeing the pattern, so I have to generate a couple more test cases somehow. But actually, I'm currently not sure how to do that. Because I cannot just add um, if class is checking for the inputs and return the respective output. Or maybe... Let me just think about this. Maybe actually I can. So let's give it another try and do it really explicit. Say like input.length equals one equals um then we just return return true and if or else i've not seen anything longer than uh two so let's just assume that it's the longest input size we get uh for this very end i'm going to say okay if I haven't actually seen it's always a quadratic matrix, isn't it? So there's either one or f at least four values. So let's assume we have four values here and say like input zero zero. Yeah, what's the condition? Plus input zero one is actually bigger than input one zero plus input input one one let me give it a brace and like this and like this return true and return false Maybe just to find some way to actually check something cannot oh, yeah. Spelling it correctly helps. So let's see what he gives us now. Okay, at least now I get some more test cases. Um Okay, interesting, interesting, interesting. Let's try out bigger or equals here because for the zero cases this should be bigger or equals. This is supposed to return false. So how about zero zero and um, one zero added up with one zero and one one. This works for the test case that was okay. Let's see what have we got here. I have 55, 55 and 522 of 577, 320 plus 257 are 577. So let's try adding up the diagonals instead. So make this a 1, 1 and this uh, zero one what happens now I'm just wild guessing right now but okay this is supposed to return false diagonals it's like um, 1300 1406 and this is so maybe it's not bigger or equals but only equals 
Let's see. Okay, nice. This is actually working. Apparently for length of two, so it's generating me length of length of three of three now. So let me see if I can generalize this thought of comparing the diagonals of this. Um, if I interpret this as a matrix, then I just compare the sum of the diagonals. Let me see if that makes sense here. So it's 37 plus 78 is 150, 160 plus 500 something is... Yeah, that actually makes work because the lower right and the lower left are the same. Those are the same and in the middle element is of course the same. So it work, would work for this. So let's write a solution that sums up the diagonals of the matrix and compares the two values. So in sum A is 0 and in sum B is 0. And then let's go over the array. Int i equals 0, i smaller than input dot length, i plus plus. And let's say, so now we're going over the rows of the array. So input i is our thing we're going to work with. And then we want to have... Um, we want to have some a plus equals input i i this is the diagonal in this direction and then we have some b actually adding up input i dot input length minus minus 1 minus i i guess this should be the other way around. So it's input dot length. In this case it's 2 minus 1 is 1 minus 0 is 0. In the other case it's input length minus 1. Uh, 1 minus i1 should be the other one. The other one. And then return some a, some a equals some b. Let's check this out. Is this a solution to this task or is this a solution to this task? It seems to be a solution to the task. Very nice. So um, after some mind-puzzling thoughts, uh, I managed to resolve this task by going back to very primitive checks and figuring out how this is supposed to work. Nice. Okay. This is it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If not, drop me a comment or send me a message. Let me know what you think. And have a look at my channel and the other things I'm doing. Maybe there's something interesting for you. So this is goodbye for now and hope to see you next time.